Hello everyone, today we're going to do a package user of CCNY1 version 7, 2.8.1. Test the interface assignment. In this activity, we're going to use command line interface to verify the interfaces and the addresses configuration of the these two switches and, uh, and these two pieces. We see each of these devices has been assigned IP address on it. Yeah, so we go to do the test, the assignment. First, we go to PCA. And here is IP configuration. We click in and we see this is the IP configuration window. Our IP configuration is down in this window and the IP address has been assigned already. This is the one, 192.168.1.10 1 is the same as this one. Slash 24, the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. That's correct. That's a configuration. If we want to verify the configuration, we go to the command prompt. So we enter command line interface. Then we use command IP config to verify. So the IP address and the subnet mask show up here. This is the same as the IP address here. All right, so correct. So next we need to do the same test for PCB. PCB, the IP configuration is here. IP address is 192.168.1.11, slash 24. Subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. All right, here's the configuration has been done. Verify, command prompt. We use IP config. Here, IP address 1.11 is a correct OR here. All right, so next we need to verify the configuration for these two switches. From here, we can tell these two switches are layer two switch because uh, this uh, switch directly connected to end devices PCA and PCB. And uh, layer two switch, we know that uh, layer two switch use MAC address to forward the information. And uh, layer two switch doesn't need IP address because IP address is layer three IP address. And also the physical ports of full switches doesn't support IP address. So when we see IP address on switch, we need to know that IP address is configured on the virtual interface, switch virtual interface or VLAN one interface. VLAN one interface is the default SVI. Okay, let's go to check. Because so we use a command line interface, CLI, to do the test, we click the connection. We use the console cable, console cable, and click the PCA here. We select RS232 serial Port, then click S1, select the console port. So now switch one and the PCA are connected through console cable. Then we go to PCA, then terminal emulation program, click. Here, these are the default setting is okay. So enter, we, so we enter S1, switch one. We're in the user executive mode. We use command enable to enter privileged mode. So from here, we use show command show IP interface brief to check the interface. All right, we see this IP address 192.168.1.2 is the same as this IP address. All right, this IP address is configured on the VLAN one. VLAN one is default switch virtual interface, default SVI. 
But uh, here the status shows administratively down. That means VLAN 1 interface is in shutdown mode. The protocol down as well. All right, so next, what we need to do is to activate VLAN 1 interface. So we use command com configure terminal to enter configuration mode. Because we need to activate interface VLAN 1, so we need to enter interface configuration mode. Use command interface VLAN 1. All right, so from here we use command no shutdown to activate VLAN 1 interface. So here the information shows up interface VLAN 1 changed the state to up. All right, so we use control C to return back to privileged mode and uh, you use up the up arrow to show IP interface brief again. So this time we're gonna see VLAN 1 interface, IP address is here, status changed, up, protocol up. Okay, before was administratively down and down, now it's up and up. All right, so we finished the S1. Next, we need to do the same test for S S2. So console cable, PCB, RS232, S2, select the console port. And from PCB, we enter the terminal, default setting OK, enter, we enter S2. Okay, enable to enter privileged mode. From here, we use show IP interface brief. All right, so we see here, IP address here need to be configured on VLAN 1. So we look at the VLAN 1, but IP address is not assigned yet. And also administrative down. So from here, we know we have two configuration need to do. The first is to assign this IP address to interface VLAN 1 and then to activate VLAN 1 of VLAN 1 interface. Okay, let's go to configure terminal interface VLAN 1. Okay, we use uh, command IP address and followed by the IP address we gave to the interface, that is 192.168.1.3 subnet mask slash 24 is 255.255.255.0. Then no shutdown to activate VLAN 1. All right, so information shows interface VLAN 1 changed state to up. Good. Okay. Control C. Control C back to the privileged mode. Use up arrow to show IP interface brief again. So this time VLAN 1 IP address is configured 1.3 before is unassigned. So status protocol change to up up before was administratively down and down. Okay, good. We finished this package, sir. Test the interface assignment. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please thumbs up and subscribe my channel and share with your friends. See you next time.